Okay. So to officially start the program, please let me turn back to um, Kati Business Club Executive Director, Coco Alcoas. Coco? Thank you very much, Catch. Good morning, everybody. We hope you're all safe and well. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the closing event of the Legaspi Citizen Assembly on strengthening small family businesses strategies for MSMEs. We thank Legaspi City again for welcoming, <clears throat> excuse me, Makati Business Club and the, and the Conrad Adenauer Foundation to assist with this initiative through our Digital Democracy Project. With us today are representatives from the Albay government, the Legaspi City LGU, the Albay Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Divine Word College of Legaspi, and SEDP Simbag Sapagasenso Incorporated. Thank you all of you for attending today's session. <clears throat> the Digital Democracy Project aims to encourage government units and agencies to use technology tools to better consult with their constituencies in forming policy. A secondary goal is to embed technology as a tool for uniting rather than dividing communities. So far, we have worked with local governments in Pasig and Intramuros, and now with you in Legaspi City. In the last two weeks, Legaspi's online poll tried to better understand MSMEs in Legaspi City and what support they need from the government to enable them to contribute to economic recovery. 337 entrepreneurs and employees answered a survey and told us what they think. The survey was analyzed by Layer Tech, our data science partner, and their findings will be presented today by, Frey, by, um, by Layer Tech CEO Frey Sangen. The insight from the survey will help the government develop targeted policies and initiatives to help support MSMEs, particularly small family businesses in Legaspi City. Mayor Noel Rosal, the UNESCO Good Governance Award-winning leader of Legaspi City, will be speaking more about the plans of the government in the event today. Citizen participation in government decision-making is an essential component of democracy. We invite you to share your ideas and thoughts on what Legaspi should do through the breakout rooms sessions today. Mm -hmm. Congressman Joey Salceda, the representative of Albay's second district, could not be with us here today, but he has sent a message of support and congratulations to the Makati Business Club and the Albay Chamber of Commerce and Industry, and of course, to the Legaspi government. Allow me to read a part of the message. <clears throat> <clears throat> Family businesses, uh, Congressman Salceda says, are at the core of our economy in this province and our largest businesses continue to be family owned. In fact, the country's largest businesses have formed strategic partnerships with our family owned businesses instead of taking them over outright, owing to their rare local insight and their rootedness in our context. For this reason, the insights you will learn in this survey will be very useful in strengthening our local economy and crafting policy for our province. I also urge you, Congressman Salceda goes on to say, I also urge you to share these results with, our, with us policymakers so that we can gain a better understanding of how to help these businesses. We thank Congressman Salceda for that message and for sharing his thoughts. The full message will be posted on the MBC Facebook page. And allow me now to turn over the rest of the program uh, to my colleague, Katja Filada, for today's session. I'll remain in the program, but Katja will be run, Katja and my other colleagues will be running it uh, in between, and I'll come back, I'll, I'll, be, I'll stay here and uh, speak again towards the end. Thank you very much, everybody. Okay, thanks, Coco. So now, tinatawag namin si Frey Sangin, ang isang homegrown data scientist mula sa Albay. Si Frey ang CEO ng Layer Tech, uh, isang data science organization na gusto itong ipakilala ang LGU sa digital age. Frey, nasasabik kaming malaman kung ano ang opinion ng mga bumoto sa ating survey. Frey? Frey, you here? Okay, I think Frey is having some technical difficulties. Maybe our back end could help her. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, I just want to remind everybody that uh, we'll be assigning everybody to breakout rooms later. So we assign po kami uh, ng lahat sa limang breakout rooms. Ang bawat breakout room ay magkakaroon ng breakout room leader. Uh, so yung leader po yung gagabay sa usapan. Tapos yung moderator po ay tatanungin uh, yung mga participants 
na magpakilala at sagutin yung mga sumusunod na tanong. So habang siguro hinihintay natin si Frey, uh, pag-isipan na po natin yung sasagot natin sa susunod na tanong. So yung unang tanong, kung ikaw ang mayor ng Legazpi City, so kung kayo po si Mayor Rosal, ano, paano ka magbibigay ng suporta sa mga MSMEs? So yun po yung unang tanong. Yung ikalawang tanong, ano ang pinakamahalagang konsiderasyon na dapat isipin sa pagbubuo ng mga policy upang suportahan ng mga MSMEs? Yun po ikalawa. Tapos yung ikatlo po, kung may babaguhin ka sa proseso ng survey, ano ang babaguhin mo? So yun po yung tatlong tanong na pag-uusapan natin mamaya. Pagkatapos po ng, uh, ng presentation po ni Frey, na sana po ay ngayon ayos na ang kanyang audio. Frey? Frey, are, Frey, are you there? I think uh, she is out. Baka biglang nag-brown out or what? Oh no. Um, Hindi na gumana yung generator ni Frey. <laughs> okay, in that case... While we're waiting for that catch, um, mm -hmm. uh, without without um, without preempting free, could you share with us maybe some highlights of the results if you have them, and then maybe we can proceed with the rest of the program and then call on free when she's ready. Okay. Do you have any? Do you have any highlights? Actually, before we get to the highlights, maybe we could go to the video very quickly. So the video will explain kung ano yung nangyari dun sa survey, ano yung rationale. And then we can go on to the highlights. Good. Okay. <clears throat> Sige, asking for help now. Maybe we could play the video. All right. percent ng lahat ng mga negosyo sa Pilipinas ay mga micro, small, and medium enterprises o mga MSMEs. Ayon sa Department of Trade and Industry, 62.4% ng employment sa Pilipinas ay nagmula sa mga MSMEs. Ang sektor na ito ay napakahalaga sa pagunlad at pagbangon ng ekonomiya ng Pilipinas. Dahil ang mga MSME ay nagbibigay ng mga trabaho na tumutulong para mabawasan ang kahirapan at ang mga MSME ay nakikipagtulungan sa mga malalaking kompanya bilang subcontractor o parte ng supply chain bilang mga supplier o service provider. Ang isang malakas na sektor ng MSME ay nagpapakita ng isang umuunlad at lumalaking ekonomiya. Sa isang proyekto kasama ng Makati Business Club at Conrad Adenauer Stiftung, ang Legazpi City pinag-aaralan ng mga MSMEs, partikular na ang mga family-owned enterprises, para malaman ang mga paraan para mapabuti ang business environment at pag-unlad ng ekonomiya sa lungsod. Sa pamamagitan ng Digital Democracy Project, ang Legazpi City ay nagsasagawa ng isang online citizen assembly mula August 2 to August 18, 2021. Kung saan ang gobyerno ay tinatanong ang mga may-ari at empleyado ng MSME kung ano ang kanilang pagtingin tungkol sa mga family business at ang support na kailangan para mapalakas ang mga ito. Ang matututunan mula sa survey ay makakatulong sa paghubog sa pagdedesisyon sa policy ng pamahalaan para suportahan ang mga negosyo sa Legazpi City. Sa pamamagitan ng Digital Democracy Project, Ang Legazpi City Government ay nagsasagawa ng mahalagang konsultasyon at pakikilahok sa mga mamamayan ito. Ito ay mahalagang mga gawain para sa demokrasya. Okay, pwede po ba natin i-up sa screen yung resulta ng survey? Catch, I think some people joined after um, after this, the video ran. So we should explain that Frey, uh, uh, Frey Sangel, who was supposed to give the presentation, uh, may be having technical problems. So Catch and I think our colleague Gita will uh, will use her will use her um, presentations and present it uh, to you until Frey comes in. Okay, thanks Coco for going over that. But yes, uh, we'll be 
replacing or quickly going over phrase slides. Uh, sana bumalik na yung uh, electricity niya soon. Sige. Could we quickly flash uh, the results on the screen, please? So, so over the past uh, two weeks po, ano, yung mga uh, participants na nasa room ngayon at yung mga ibang codigs ninyo ay sumasagot po nung survey na i-flash namin sa screen ngayon. Uh, yung survey po ay tungkol, of course, sa family business, sa small family business sa Legazpi City. So, ang gusto po sanang malaman ng uh, Legazpi LGU ay kung ano yung mga challenges sa uh, na kailangang uh, tugunan ng LGU. Okay, ito po yung resulta sa screen ngayon. So, makikita po natin na uh, 337 po ang total na bumoto sa survey. Uh, maaari pa po yung mag-increase habang pumapasok yung ibang resulta. Um, so, overall po, meron tayong 212 na statement or thoughts or opinions na pinagbotohan. Uh, total po ng 17,000 votes ang lumabas mula sa survey. So, baba tayo ng content piece. Punta tayo dun sa mga ayan. So, mahita po natin yung mga dots, maliliit na dots sa screen. Sorry, akit na ote. Yan. Yung sa pinakakaliwa, yung consensus na statement, um, yun po ay yung tungkol sa segregation. So, marami po sa ating small and medium, uh, MSME, sorry, micro, small, and medium enterprises, ay nagsisegregate ng waste. Ang uh, isa pa pong um, consensus statement ay ang kailangan ng suporta sa pagpupondo ng business. Uh, so nakikita po natin all throughout na yung mga MSMEs, yun po yung uh, isang key concern um, na, na iniisip nila. So baka po pwede po nating uh, hingin yung opinion ng LGU tungkol dyan mamaya. Pero ang isa pong lumabas na pinakamalaking resulta ay ang kailangan ng, um, ay ang need po ng pagpupondo of financing. Susunod naman ang uh, need for marketing support. Um, ang Consensus statement din po lumabas na kailangan ko ng suporta sa marketing upang mapabuti ang business. So baka po yun, uh, pwede pong dyan umiikot yung suporta ng LGU, so financing, tapos marketing na po yung susunod. Uh, next po, ang tungkol naman sa pandemya, ang aking negosyo ay apektado ng pandemya. Um, so nakikita po natin na malaki rin po yung, yung apekto ng COVID-19 sa mga MSMEs. Siguro na rin po sa mga sunod-sunod na lockdown at pagbagal ng ekonomiya. Uh, so baka po um, magiging parte rin ng LGU support ang COVID-19 pandemic support. Susunod naman ang um, consensus statement tungkol sa kalikasan. Yung statement po ay ang business namin ay tumutulong sa kalikasan kahit na sa maliit na paraan. So makikita po natin dito sa comment tungkol sa kalikasan at dun sa waste segregation na kahit na po maliliit lang ang MSMEs, sinusubukan po talaga nilang maging uh, environment friendly, kumbaga gamit ng waste segregation at sa pagtulong sa environment. Okay. So nakikita po na free is coming. Ah, yeah. Yes, go ahead. Yeah. How do we know that, uh, paano natin malalaman that we have uh, gotten votes from everybody in the in the Gaspi City, hindi lang one sector ng business natin? I think naman, uh, hindi, hindi natin kailangan makuha yung buo or yung kabuuan ng population ng Legazpi City or yung lahat specifically mm -hmm. ng businesses. Uh, but rather, mas maganda na makuha natin yung cross-section. So kumbaga yung mga lahat ng mga uh, opinions, lahat ng mga, um, lahat ng mga important sectors ay dapat represented. So nakuha po natin yan with the help of course of Father Jovic, Sir Chito, mm -hmm. and others in the Legazpi LGU as well as of course Ma'am Ray in the Albay Chamber of Commerce. I see. Okay, so, so I see now that Ray has yes. come in. Sorry, Gita, what are you saying? Sorry? So, so dahil sa kinala, we were able to get a cross-section of uh, the basically a snapshot of the economy of Legazpi City. Yes, yes, we were. Okay, right. so now that I see that Frey is in the room, Frey, can you hear us? Oh no, did the internet cut off again? Hello, Frey. Oh, I think uh, yung internet ni Frey na, na, kuha, na off. Ah, I see. Parang andito na po siya, nandito. Yes, yes. Uh, really, really sorry. Okay. Uh, all of a sudden, lo yung DSL na cut automatic so yes 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 that, 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 no problem I may 
Yeah. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Mayor. Good morning. Frey, Frey, you... morning for Mayor. Frey, you have three internet morning. connections. Frey? Yes, and like... everything <laughs> just got, got cut off all of a sudden. So I have to run and get data, uh, mobile data. Uh, so really sorry about that. Um, Not at all. But... Uh, I can't screen share. <laughs> May time pa ba ako? Yes. <laughs> we did oh, hi, lang yan. <laughs> Go ahead. Do you want us to share the screen from your... Um... Yes. Uh, yes, please. Pa-share na lang po. Sige. I'll Para, just ano. one minute. I will uh, share the screen. Grabe. We have three internet connections from the <clears throat> diff three different sources and infrastructure problem. Somewhere. Yeah. Oh, there. So, apologies Frey? again. Frey, and, um, sorry, one second. Frey. Frey, Frey, yes, Frey? Frey? Yeah. I think maybe turn off your video. Baka yeah. You're, you're lagging. Yeah. yeah. Uh -oh. That's yeah, bad. Sorry. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, so thank you again. Uh, and I hope uh, my mobile data will, will hold. Uh, so, good morning, everyone. Uh, this is the results. Anyway, uh, the technical um, aspects, everything naman will be made available after this. Uh, and after a few days, even yung mga insights dito sa. So, if there's anything na you want us to uh, clarify or kung may question there regarding the report, please feel free to reach out na lang sa akin. Uh, sa amin, uh, pwedeng mamaya sa breakout or pwedeng in the future. Uh, next, please. Uh, next, next slide, please. Hindi ko siya makita. <laughs> next slide, please. Gita, Second I think slide. you have to uh, do the there. Yes. Yeah. And please slide two. Yes. yes. Sorry. Ayan, voting. Yeah. Uh, uh, so the voting summary. So ang data natin is from August 2 to 13, 11 days. Um, and uh, we have a total of 327 voters and three, uh, 302 of them were grouped. By the way, itong number na to pala is relatively okay na siya given yung short time uh, frame natin. Uh, and of course, we can see that uh, 302 voters is... Um, teka, ay, na, na, ano ba yung screen share? <laughs> Nawala. <laughs> Yeah, 327 voters is, um, I mean, 302 of them were grouped. So relatively, uh, Legaspi voters are uh, pretty predictable, which is a good thing for uh, the LGU kasi ibig sabihin, they can address the concerns as a group instead of individually. So we processed a total of 16,454 votes. Okay na po siya. Uh, maganda siya. Good yung turnout niya considering yung time, yung time frame natin. Uh, next, please. So voting timeline, okay naman, nothing, uh, nothing erratic, nothing alarming. Uh, next, please. Now we have uh, opinion groups. So ito po yung importante. Uh, opinion groups are basically groups of people or ito yung mga sectors na lumalabas dun sa vote, uh, voting population natin. Uh, so for this specific vote, uh, voting time frame, we detected two different opinion groups. So ano po ba yung two different groups? Um, next, please. Ayan. So interestingly, in terms of uh, yung demographically, hindi siya different. So it's pretty uniform, yung group A and group B. So pareho yung ratio ng re resident, so non-resident, female, male, uh, etc. Super pareho sila. Uh, however, yung difference lang is yung group A, we have 195. So mas marami siya, almost double ng group B. So we call group A, uh, we labeled group A based on yung sagot nila dun sa survey. So yung group A, they're uh, relatively doing well in terms of yung business nila. And they're also using digital technologies. And group B, they need support. And they do not, uh, they need lots of support actually. Tapos they do not use ICT tools or social media. So next please. Ayan. Next, please. Skip na natin siya. <laughs> Maraming skip. Uh, so, yung agree. Uh, so, before yung what's different, 
uh, among them. So they agree on, uh, for the most part naman, positive yung outlook nila sa family businesses, which is a good thing. Um, now, ang unique voting pattern, so what's different with Group A is that uh, they have, a vi- sinasabi nila na they have clear succession plans, uh, they have clear targets for their business, uh, that maganda yung management nila ng finances. So all in all, they're doing well. And they use internet and social media in their business operations. Next, please. Yeah, next, please. Ayan, okay na. So on the other hand, yung group B, uh, makikita natin na mas marami silang problems because they do not have a clear business succession plan. Uh, their funds are managed separately from household funds. And uh, they use internet and they do not use internet and social media to groups. Uh, and then sabi nila yung compensation daw from working with a family business is not so good according to group B. Next please. So yan, uh, next. Later na lang. Next please. Maybe we can skip dun sa pinakal. Ay, da, ito. Maganda to. Uh, this, uh, ito yung mga statements that may be of interest to the LGU or the ACCI. Uh, pwedeng yung previews. <laughs> o baka late lang yung net ko. So, yun. Um, apart dun sa statements natin, we have quality comments apart dun sa 55 statements natin. So uh, most of them are uh, yung comments nila about health that they, that they need from the LGU, yung statements of support to family business, other ideas and comments on the survey itself. Uh, next, please. Again, so uh, they're specifically uh, asking for help, yung mga ambulant vendors. Uh, ano daw specifically yung makakatulong sa kanila. And then may mga nagtatanong if there's an office in the LGU that specifically provides assistance to businesses because they don't know or uh, they don't see any or know, uh, know any. So yan. Uh, next please. Siguro we can skip dun sa last part na lang muna. Uh, dun sa summary sa pinaka-last. <laughs> Uh, sa pinakalast. Sige, next, sa, ano pa, next section pa. Oo, sadly lang kasi maganda sana tong part na to, but we weren't able, ito, uh, we weren't able to get uh, enough data eh, to have those kinds of um, analysis. Uh, maybe next time. But anyway, so a uh, long story short, ito yung summary. Uh, spotlights. So yung opinion groups natin, there's no standout difference in terms of demo, uh, demographic uh, breakdown. So halos pareho sila in terms of uh, demography. Majority of the respondents are proprietors, but the opinion groups are defined by the kind of support that they needed. So si first group, uh, yung first group natin ay mga gumagamit ng ICT tools and yung second ay hindi gumagamit ng ICT tools. Next, please. So yon uh, specifically yung primary concerns natin mostly for group B is basic business planning wala silang uh, yung basic business plans or succession plans even yung finances nila it's managed together with household funds. Uh, so next please. And in general ito yung mga support na needed by both groups A and B so finance management marketing uh, funding regulatory compliance and registration processes uh, and specifically for five and, five and six, yung equipment and technology and digital transformation, yung group A, yung humihingi talaga nito. Uh, next, please. Next, please. Ayan, uh, divisive statements. So I sh- uh, nag-shift kasi yung 50-50, ibig sabihin nito 50-50 yung respondents natin. So 50% of respondents uh, shifted to another uh, business because of the pandemic. Uh, 50% also closed. And ito yung isa sa pinaka-spotlight natin, yung utilities and Legaspi. I can attest to that. <laughs> uh, in Legaspi City are sufficient by running a personal experience. <laughs> Yes, uh, <laughs> I'm outside right now yeah, using mobile data. So yun yung isa sa mga biggest uh, spotlights natin or issues natin with, uh, with running family businesses. Uh, finally, next please. 
Ayun, yung survey lang siguro in the future, consider giving shorter survey kasi medyo maraming irate comments. <laughs> siguro nahabaan sila. Ayun, so next please. So that said, uh, ito na yung final recommendations namin. Uh, so number one, actually may updated sana ako. So yung first is communication kasi maraming uh, comments na walang ganito, walang ganyan, pero meron na pala. So it's just a matter of communicating to stakeholders na yes, nag exist na tong mga offices na to, to support you. Ganon. Uh, and then we have businesses na nag-shift sa industries during the pandemic. So what are the specific industries that ceased Uh, operations and what specific industries continued operating. Uh, so yun, magandang mag-zoom in doon para makita natin yung strategies niya. Uh, we can map the specific needs pointed out to uh, LG certain programs na palang existing or may mga NGOs or partners yung LGU na nag-offer ng ganitong services. It would be great. And then finally, it's best to monitor effectiveness of training and uh, support given to the businesses. Kasi di ba, uh, marami nag-isabi, nagagawa na natin yan paulit-ulit. But bakit paulit-ulit? So something may not be working. It's always best to uh, zoom into those things para mas maganda yung next iteration natin. So that's it. <laughs> Thank you very much. And really, really sorry. Um, I did my best talaga yung contingency, pero ganyan talaga. Um, uh, if you're interested with the paper, uh, it will be available in the next few days completely. And uh, later on, baka umayos na yung internet, maka-join na rin ako sa breakdown. Thank you. I break out sessions. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Frey. Okay. I think, alam mo, may tatlong internet ka. Um, at that point, hindi mo nakasalanan yun. Um, I think those were really great points, especially um, specifically talking about yung communication policies from the LGUs and the need for help sa digital transformation, financing, and marketing. Okay, so thank um, you, Frey, for your insights. Um, can I talk. say something? Hindi ko lang mapigil ang tuwa. Sige Frey po, is uh, chosen as one of the 100 most influential okay. Filipinas in the world. Congrats naman, Frey. Congrats, Frey. Frey, you are. We will be flying to US. Flying Congratulations, Frey. Hindi lang yung tuwa. Thank you. Thank you. Good news. Galing-galing naman ni Frey. Ano? Isang homegrown data scientist. Wow. Well deserved. Well deserved. Yes. We are very proud of her. I think you okay, should be. Thank you for the interruption. No problem. Thank you for thank you for for letting us know, Paul, Miss Rose. Congratulations, Free. Um. Okay. <laughs> so moving on with our program. Um. Inimbitahan namin po ang lahat na magbahagi ng kanilang uh, na isip ko ng dapat um gawin ng Legaspi City. Ngayong na-analyze na po yung results ng survey. So, in-assign po namin ang lahat sa limang breakout rooms. Ang bawat breakout room ay meron ng isang uh, breakout room leader na gagabay sa usapan. Uh, para po dun sa mga bago sa room ngayon, uulitin ko lang po yung tatlong tanong. Um, bawat breakout room ay merong isang moderator din po. So, ang tatlong tanong, una, kung ikaw ang mayor ng The Gaspi City, paano ka magbibigay ng support as MSMP? So, isipin niyo po na kayo si Mayor Rosal, ano? So, ikalawang tanong, ano ang pinakamahalagang konsiderasyon na dapat isipin sa pagbubuo ng policy upang suportahan ng MSMEs? At ikatlo, uh, kung may babaguhin ka sa proseso ng survey, ano ang babaguhin mo? So, um, quick instructions lang po, pag nasa loob na po kayo ng breakout rooms, uh, mangyaring basahin lang po out loud at ng malakas ang bawat tanong upang pag-usapan ito ng grupo. At sana po siguraduhin natin na lahat ng nasa room ay may pagkakataon na magbahagi ng kanilang iniisip at ideya. So ngayon po, uh, pupunta na po tayo ngayon sa breakout rooms. Wala po kayo kailangang uh, gawin. Isesend na po kayo sa mga breakout rooms ng aming IT. Kung may problema po sa breakout rooms, pakichat lang po kami doon sa chat box. Clarificatory, uh, can we ask yes. lang si Frey, uh, is there any difference in like yung one, di ba two, two major categories yun? Was it like because one was micro and one was medium or was it well mixed yung dalawang group na sabing yung isa uses uh, uh, 
uh, computers and one doesn't. Doon sa data, may meron bang highlight na nakitang ganon? Uh, yes. Yes. Um, actually po, um, mer- uh, most of the respondents kasi nandun sa micro. So although mixed siya, we were able to mine specific patterns na yung mga uh, micro to medium gumagamit ng ICT. Pero for the most part, yung mga micro talaga, and uh, we're assuming mga ambulant vendors uh, or yung mga talagang nag-uumpi, yung hindi gumagamit ng internet. Uh, mas malaki yung hindi gumagamit ng net, ganun, yung micro talaga. Pero within dun sa medium and uh, mga 50% yung micro level ay gumagamit ng internet. Thank you, that's very good. Thank you. Okay, thanks Mr. Reno. So pagkatapos po ng breakout rooms, may mga questions, may Q&A portion pa po tayo with Frey and the others. Uh, kung may mga questions po, katulad ni Uh, Mr. Reno, so please paki-chat na lang po dun sa chat box uh, para po matawag po rin namin kayo. Uh, ngayon po, pupunta na po tayo sa breakout rooms. Think po po, ready na po siya. Tapos na tayo. Yes po. Tapos na po yung breakout rooms. Welcome back everybody. <laughs> Kulang daw ang oras. Bitin. Welcome. They are all excited. They are all excited to share. Walang warning daw. <laughs> Siya di ba exciting po ang discussion? Yeah. Yung Sana time. parang basketball, may last two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Dapat pala may warning pa, no? Para makapag-wrap up na. Pero it's nice to hear po that everybody had a good time in our breakout rooms. Um, pagkatapos po, naman po nung... Ah, yes po. At least, at least you were given the chance to be the city mayor of Legazpi. <laughs> It was the most important and exciting. Ang <laughs> sarap pala ng feeling. Nawal na nawal ang role si Mayor for five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Mayor, it feels good, ah. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Para sa high spirit lahat, ah. Parang ito. Walang yun. Walang yun. Ganun pa rin yung style ni Mayor. Ginaya ko rin kasi idol ko yun eh. <laughs> Sabi ko, hands on. Palaging may committee i-create ang Mayor namin. Parang pasiguro for long range. Tamang tama naman po. Ano? So, sana po enjoy din ni Mayor ang mga sub-Mayor, ang mga, uh, mga tao na nagsabi na sila muna ang Mayor for the last 30 minutes. Ah, sige po. So, pagkatapos naman po ng breakout room, meron pa tayong um, mabilis na Q&A or question and answer. Um, kung may mga tanong po sila, please po sulat na lang po sa chat box ngayon. So, ngayon po, magsisimula na tayo sa pagbabahagi ng insight mula sa breakout room. Uh, magsisimula po tayo kay Miss Rose sa room 2. Uh, sa mga okay. po hindi nakakaalam, yes, thanks Miss Rose. <laughs> Si Ms. Rose po ang presidente ng Albay Chamber of Commerce. Uh, siya po ang nanimo, nang namuno sa, dis- sa diskusyon. Uh, so Ms. Rose, pwede po ba kayong mag-share sa loob ng dalawang minuto kung ano ang napag-usapan ng Room 2? Eh, Summarize ko na lang. Hindi ko yes, na ipalo po. yung pani-share. Sure. Okay. Very interesting. First, as uh, Martin said, that, uh, pa- ang ganda pala maging mayor. <laughs> This 30 minutes. Because you can say a lot of things or you can, uh, well, kung kami ang mayor, first, an important is tra- transparency, good communication between the executive, legislative, and of course, the private sector. And third, of uh, We uh, we are proposing a third party audit of utilities in the city to be reported to the mother company and ask them on the solution. Para 
kasi uh, nakikita namin lately na nagtuturuan. Maari sinasabi nila sa mother company nila walang problema but actually down there ang laki ng problema. So to make uh, things uh, transparent, mm -hmm. uh, uh, kung pwede mag-hire ng third party audit. And that will resolve some of our problems because uh, we will get a uh, third party that can also give us some possible solutions or suggestions. And of course, about a uh, strong, uh, about doing business, the ease of doing business in Legaspi, uh, okay naman na, na kukuha na ng city. But uh, we have to have a strong partnership with DTI and negotiation centers to provide basic needs. Lalo na, we will request uh, DTI na i-advocate nila yung Bambi Law kasi we are talking of uh, MSMEs or small business. Eh, natatakot sila sa babayaran kasi hindi nila naintindihan yung mga benefits if they will uh, be registered under the BMBA Law. And of course, the usual problem about taxation and red tape with the BIR. Baka matulungan tayo din ni Mayor John. And more tax incentive on the micro and small businesses. Uh, and may napansin lang kami, uh, DOT in the city, hindi maganda ang, ang communication ko nila. Medyo may, may lag, may gap. So maybe we can look at that. And improve or focus on our uh, pasalubong center. I-showcase natin kung paano ginagawa yung mga pasalubong, yung pagluluto or uh, pinukpuk or something para na magiging tourism attraction pa natin yun or destination. And we have to look at uh, yung dating ginagawa ng weekend farmers market kasi that's one way na yung mga maliliit entrepreneurs Ah, uh, matitest nila kung acceptable o maganda yung feedback about their products and from there, pwede na sila mag sa higher sa higher level, pwede na sila pumunta rin sa e-commerce e portal nang sa ngayon ang ECCI ay ina na rin for launching with the USAID Health. Ah, uh, we call it My Albay. Ah, uh, then of course very important is the telecom facility, telecommunication. So, sana magkaroon ng free Wi-Fi sa palinke and surrounding areas. Maybe the ICT can help us. Mama Ching, you are there, we know. And maybe we have to give more trainings para ma-appreciate nila an e-commerce because e-commerce is now the talk of the town and that is what we need now mahirap a physical store mahirap mag maintain but with e-commerce pwede tumakbo ang negosyo and of course i-add ko rin sa e-commerce is encourage the freelance work and of course very important number one is the transparency kasi kahit paano we know that uh, uh, with Mayor Rosal, maganda ang kanyang palakad, but still, we have to improve. Uh, avoid yung mga, di lang yung within the Legaspi City uh, government, but of course with other government agency. And we are very thankful to the Mayor because uh, we are, the private sectors are giving voice, but still, we can add more. Mas malaki pang sector natin, hindi lang business sector, ang private sector, but the civil society itself na ma-consulta din natin. Okay, uh, question two. Yung most important consideration when crafting policies to support MSMEs, it's about more on the leg legislative side. And one is the fiscal and non-fiscal incentive. Dapat huwag natin kalimutan. Uh, tapos yung inclusivity. What we mean is, kung nagpapatawag sila ng mga committee hearings, i-expand nila yung coverage ng mga kinukonsulta nilang mga tao. And involve, uh, 
At uh, hindi lang mga business sectors. There are other sectors din na, na dapat nilang konsultahin. At uh, isa pa, yung website ng city is strengthen nila kasi marami rin nagko-complain na hindi nila ma-access yung page. Lalo na kung gusto nila magbayad online or mag-register online. So let's improve it. Uh, for the benefit of the body also, we are very lucky because free also made a portal uh, on feedback portal. Mayroon kami ngayon na ilalunch na rin sa city that will institutionalize kahit iba na ang aming leader since mayor is uh, ending his term, at least we are assured na maririnig pa rin ang boses ng karamihan with that uh, portal, the feedback and query portals at the website of the city. And of course, harmonious policies like an accreditation for government agency. Yung harmonious policies, kasi yung nga, sa previous pa ng sa question one, nasabi na namin na kailangan align ang direction ng bawat government agency. Hindi pa iba-iba ang mga hinahanap na requirements to be accredited na naguguluhan ang mga negosyante. Dapat din, uh, tingnan na ngayon this early of the legislative na ano yung mga possible na amnesty na pwede nila maibigay sa mga negosyante para masustain yung kanilang negosyo. Uh, lalo na considering the pandemic. And we are also afraid of the payment of the real estate tax. We know the mayor is very considerate, but we have to have uh, something mm -hmm. clear na ano ang mangyayari kasi like uh, we are paying for uh, we are being charged for a uh, building eh, yung building naman na yun hindi naman nare-rent na yun so what will happen saan kami kukuha ng pambayad ng property tax so we need some amnesty and uh, some consideration of the uh, loans kailangan tulungan natin ang mga SMEs yes and uh, encourage more agency, hindi lang yung SBC mm -hmm. na tumulong. Let's explore other. Okay. And of course, we need to create a technical working group between the legislative, executive, and the private sector para may harmonious uh, uh, relationship. Hindi nasasyak ang private sector kung may bigla na lang lumalabas ng mga ordinances. Yes. And okay. and the question three for question. Uh, if you are going to change something about the survey, well, we have to shorten it. Ah, uh, kasi mayroon ng iba at the middle humihinto na ayaw na sumagot na habaan sila. <laughs> okay lang po. At um, na napansin din yung iba nag-answer na mayroon mga Ibang negosyante na yung question, wala yung doon sa mga choices, hindi tumutugma sa kanila. So maybe we can explore that later. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Miss Rose. All right. Uh, I think very good points, especially on good communication between the public and the private sector. Mas nga po yung need para institutionalize yung ganong sistema para po uh, kahit tapos na po yung uh, term ni Mayor, magtuloy-tuloy pa rin po ang asenso. Sige po, punta naman tayo sa Room 3 kay Father Jovix. Father Jovix po ang President at CEO ng SEDP Simbag ng Pag-Asenso Inc. Uh, at isa po itong microfinance NGO. Father Jovix, pwede po ba kayong mag-share sa amin sa loob ng dalawang minuto uh, tungkol sa mga pinag-usapan sa room ninyo? Father Jovix? Sure. Good morning. Thanks, Father. Morning. Uh, yeah. Asa na yung aking slide? Si Solen ba ang mag-present ng slide namin? Opo, or kahit uh, mabilis lang po na summary yung pinaka-highlights lang po na tumatak sa uh, Yeah. Actually, napaka-ikli nung aming uh, sharing walo kami. Uh, yung para sa mayor, may tatlong points na, na binahagi. Una, kung pwede yung registration ng mga micro, uh, Oops, start my video. Okay. 
uh, yung pinaka mga mali, yung micro kung pwedeng babaan din ang kanilang registration yun ang isa pangalawa uh, anong tawag niyan um uh, support pa rin sa sa mga mga micro at uh, pangatlo na na nabanggit kung kung sila ang ang mayor mas uh, magre-reach out sa mga maliliit na naghahanap buhay. Sa pangalawang tanong, uh, in terms of policy, yung dalawang nabanggit kanina, yun din ang inuulit pa rin, policy support. At minumungkahi din na yung investment at business center ng Legaspi tumulong magbigay ng mga training on business management at business promotion. Uh, pang, pangalawa, uh, yung tumulong din sa pag-promote uh, ng mas mababang financing kasi pangangailangan yung financing. At uh, binensure din yung possibility ng local legislation para sa anti-usury para yung mga maliliit hindi na may biktima ng 5-6. At pangatlo, uh, promoting local products like promoting pasalubong, binahagi ng tourism ni Mampita mm -hmm. na, na gaya ng ginagawa nila, promoting local products sa mga bisita sa city. So, yun yung policy support. Babaguhin sa survey kung pwedeng iklian ang, okay. ang survey. At uh, pangalawa, uh, kung yun, iklian ang survey at ano pa ba yung pangalawa? Nakakalimutan ko. Uh, siguro dudugtong ko mamaya at naalala ko. Uh, Sige po. Thank you. That's all. Sige, thank you Father Jovic. Bago po tayo pumunta sa room 4 ni Sir Chito, pwede po ba nating tawagin si uh, Mayor Noel Rosal? Mayor? Yes. Uh, good morning everyone. Morning po. Wow, naka, ano na po si Mayor? Pag-aisa na kayo sa affair ko kasi, kasi alam mo, sabay-sabay, kanina nagdaning kami ng uh, PCJ, ay may auxiliary ng Philippine Coast Guard, ay have rank of Vice Admiral na ngayon. Kaya dalawang... Ah, Galing ah. Okay. Galing sir. So anyway, uh, Wala po we support po, sir. the... Uh, okay, maka, ano pa? Thank you, thank you. Anyway, good morning again everyone. Uh, you know, I've been hearing all the... Uh, the uh, observations, recommendations of our stakeholders. It is really heartwarming that um, the Makati Business Club is doing its share. No? It's about bringing really the government closer to the people. Ito talaga yung totoo. There is, is, there is a collaboration. And not only among government agencies, but more so the st stakeholders themselves. And also those non-government organizations who can also contribute. Because I always believe that the government can only do so much. No? It's really about shared responsibility. So I would like to go now direct first to the objective of the study. If you will really um, understand that it's about the sentiments of the citizenry, um, of the small and family businesses in Legaspi City. Uh, especially in this time of pandemic. And of course, we have to identify the key statements, concerns, of course, the support needed. And uh, what are, of course, uh, insights for Legaspi LGU to inform projects or policy to support businesses? Uh, ito talaga ang nakita kong magandang uh, uh, pagpanimula muli na matulungan natin ang ating mga kababayan, especially itong mga uh, small and medium enterprises. No? Okay, so about naman dito sa objective natin, uh, siyempre, kailangan natin yung consensus, consensus and of course, uh, the following reaction based on the, uh, the data gathered natin. Gusto ko muna mag-umpisa yung performance ng ating mga PCSS in Legaspi. No? As, as, in the, as in the next last meeting, I have mentioned that to compare to other 
localities, I think Legazpi is still good. And I would like to, uh, of course, commend and congratulate the businesses. Kung titingnan mo yung ating uh, registered between uh, from 2020 to 2021, um, it's only a matter of about 500 businesses. Talagang makita mo, may epekto talaga yung pandemya. But still, uh, nandun yung 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 passion, nandun pa rin yung uh, interest ng ating mga businesses na ipagpatuloy at least makaregister man lang. And I would like to now uh, get also the sentiments of the businesses. Yung makapagpatuloy talaga, I agree with uh, Richard. Uh, kasi ako galing din ako sa business uh, sector. No? I was before in a, in, a, in a mining company that operates uh, uh, yung ating uh, filtration ng San Miguel. No? And of course, kung makita mo yung renewals natin, um, from, from, from 5,348, we had, we had uh, this year 5,006. No? Talagang bumaba. No? Yung new business natin, would you, be, would you believe? Kasi yeah. meron pa rin tayo na 746 new businesses in Legazpi. Yung temporary assist natin amounts to about 18%, 1,367 out of the 6,207. So, kailang if a percentage natin yung ating situation right now. Yung surrendered natin, of course, meron tayong 53. Talagang uh, uh, ad admitted yan. Talagang meron mga talagang mag-close na. And nakita ko naman as a full the data will really show us that uh, the business in Legazpi, being the trust pa rin talaga natin is our services, trading, and of course, tourism-oriented, talagang uh, kailangan, uh, kailangan lang makasurvive because we know that with this vaccine rollout, hopefully, no, medyo naantala lang tayo because of the new variant, especially the rock rollout in Legazpi right now. Uh, it is not that it's my city, but it's really commendable, the support of the various uh, level of, uh, of, of yung sa classification from A1 to A4. Talagang gusto nila mag-cooperate ng mga vaccine. So I think with the rate we are going, by November or December, we can at least have now the 70% uh, of the total population, which we can get at least the herd immunity. Hopefully, if the supply of the vaccine will be sustainable or will now be as this pacing as we have right now. So regarding the voting summary, mar marami to pero na present ni uh, uh, Frey. I would like to congratulate pala Frey. Uh, meron sa akin ng tanong kasi ilalaban natin si Frey kaya I strongly uh, recommend her. No? So she will be uh, really the pride of Legazpi and of course as a Bicolana. So let, let us go now to the consensus talaga. Kung makita mo that uh, yung family businesses natin improve in relationship of family members, of course, dapat may research before make a decision. Uh, it needs marketing support, uh, support in financing. Of course, yan talaga, alam natin. Kaya nga may mga project ang national. And uh, pwede po maglagay din. With, with, with the man, yung Samandanas and Garcia ruling ng Supreme Court, this is really a welcome development for all of us. Ito na siguro yung inintay natin. And maybe yung suggestion ni, ni Richard kanina, uh, I, I agree. With the uh, with, uh, income, yung ating tiyatawag na era or internal revenue allotment increase, meron talaga tayo, mag-umpisa na yan by 2022. Yung mga hindi pa nakaalam masyado na private sector, nanalo po ang ating mga local government units. Also, of course, thanks to Governor Mandanas and the late Governor Garcia of, of, uh, of uh, Balanga, Bataan. No? Uh, they won in the Supreme Court. Nanalo tayo na dapat ang local governments should, only, should participate not only in the income in the BIR, but also in other income generating uh, offices of the national, like yung ating... Uh, Anong tawag ito? Yung uh, pagpasok dito ng uh, mga gam... Ano ito? Ah, nakalimutan ko tuloy. Uh, ano nga ito? Ano nga ito yung pag-taxes ng... 
yung dumadaan sa mga ports natin, yan, mga custom. income na yan. Ha? Custom taxes po. Ah, sorry, sorry. Custom sorry? tax. Sorry. Custom, yan. Custom, mga lahat na yan. Malaki yan. So, dumalabas dito that uh, yung issue of sino mas malaki dapat. Ngayon kasi 60-40, ano? 40% goes to the local government units composed of provinces, localities, cities, municipalities, and the barangays. Ngayon, with this new uh, uh, turnaround, a game changer in local governance, this will really now equip local government to do their share. Meron na mga transition uh, processes ngayon from all national governments that will be devolved. Anong function, anong anong uh, mga trabaho or anong mga empleyado ang pwede na gawin ng ating mga local government. Ha? Kung ko lang yan, uh, paapyo kasi hindi pa masyado nila alam, pero this is the new thing right now na pinag-uusapan and this will start in 2022. Nanalo po ito in last 2016, 2017. So, no, 2018 nag-efekto. So, it took, it took three years kasi ang pag-compute ng era is three years prior. No? Kaya ito yung ngayon yung napaglabasan na i-implemented by 2022. Ang pinakamaganda pa dito yung upgrading ng technology. I, I really believe that uh, we have to be more innovative, especially in this present time. The competition is very tough. Then yung assistance for digital transformation. Alam nyo naman, hindi naman sa pagbuhat ng bangko. Eh, ito talaga with the help of the USAID uh, and of course collaboration with the Alpha Chamber. We have done our thing and we are now in the map. Just recently, we were recognized by the DICT as one of the best in digital, yung ating OBO. Although I would say, hindi pa yung perfect because the, the system is only a system. I still believe the human intervention, yung tao pa rin na hindi gagawa ng kalukohan. No? But I, I would say at least the template is there. Then the maturity of the people, especially those manning our office, and of course, the maturity of the people also themselves to comply with the necessary requirement. Yun talaga ang kailangan natin. No? So, kung makita mo sa survey din, napakaganda ng yung practice of environmental concern, yung waste segregation. I think Legaspi is ahead. Hindi naman ulit ha, dahil ako ang mayor. But I would honestly say that the past 10 years, Legaspi is really the, in the forefront regarding this campaign. The, the so-called no segregation, no collection policy. Yung pag-seminar uh, namin, although minsan maraming reklamo, mga negosyante, but still we have to do that because it should be a way of life. Pero makita mo naman yung result na kailangan pinadama natin na foremost of all, because not only because of the climate change phenomenon, but this would be a way of life. If we want really to sustain a clean environment, it should start from home, from the businesses, yung segregation at low, at, at source sinasabi natin. If you would really go back now, we were rated as the first when it comes to the, the, impl the implementation of Republic Act 9003, yung tinatawag natin na no segregation, no collection policy, and the implementation of the engineered landfill. Of course, thanks to, to the partnership with Spain, yung uh, nabigyan tayo ng uh, two, 2 million euro, it's about 100 uh, million plus, nakapagawa tayo ng sarili natin without cost on the city. Lupa lang sa atin. And now, it has been really replicated in many LGUs and still considered as one of the best in the country right now. So makita mo the effect of doing also the infrastructure intervention. Yung sinasabi ni Tess. No? So, going yung mga iba natin, like uh, itong mga princess ni Kwan yung... Uh, we have a clear business succession. We have other clear plans. I, I would say, ang, ang atataas ng, uh, ng uh, uh, response, yung pag-agree ng ating mga, mga uh, stakeholders. But I would like now to touch yung ating question kanina. Diba? Yung sinabi, number one, to put up a uh, an office. Meron na po tayo. Uh, Aman by Tess Tunyes uh, herself. Ito yung uh, investment promotion unit. We just have really to strengthen it. And uh, as a matter of fact, yung peso office natin, thanks to the Sanggunian, meron tayong slot dyan sa 
which hopefully I can invite you pag na fully furnished na natin. Meron na tayong office sa SM, mo, SM Mall wherein we can now bring uh, job fair. Doon na mismo, na na yung opisina natin. And these people going to the malls can now visit anytime. Abo nag-shopping, makita kong yung mga walang trabaho, makita kong yung mga job openings. And of course, this office, I, I agreed doon sa nag- nag- uh, nag uh, suggest nito. Uh, really, I would admit that uh, may mga kulang pa tayo like what we're do what they're doing in Cebu. Why is Cebu 20 years ago was ahead even even from even from other LGUs in Manila, in Metro Manila. Pumunta kami doon. Nag nag uh, nagkuan ako doon. Talaga nag uh, lakbay aral ako doon. Nakita ko yung pinakamalakas na yung tertawo nating na na opisina na linagay din natin headed by pinatawag na promotion uh, unit department why Cebu made it ang sekreto is the value added hindi lang yung produkto hindi lang yung raw materials the secret really, I know that si, si Father Jobic nandito ang pinakakulang ng Pilipino yung value added no? export natin, pagbalik tayo ng pipili yun ang dapat, yun ang mga ginagawa ng ating mga partners so uh, yung atin namang sa taxes, sabi ni, nila na dapat is, I, I agree, ah, pag-aaralan ng namin yan. But remember, we are also governed by the by the Department of Finance. Uh, mer- meron po kami dyan na rule. No? Pag po yan bumaba dyan, wala kaming directive, eh, siyempre tatamaan kami dun sa ratio between ERA and and the local income. Kasi mandated under Republic Act 90, uh, 7160, lo- local government code, na kailangan yung local government should initiate di ba, yung Auckland local taxes which is mandated. Kailangan talaga gawin yun. But under this pandemic, wala pang gumagalaw na from the national. But we, ang ginawa namin, dependent yan sa income. Ganito lang lang yan, uh, pwede kay Richard, uh, sabi ko sa city treasurer, kailangan lang ngayon kung anong sabi na in-income ng 2020, natural. Pwede ngang zero. Pwede ngang, ang importante sa akin, ma-renew yung business. Don't worry, Richard. Uh, this this year, hindi naman tayo nag-ihipit talaga. Uh, it's up to the uh, businessmen kung ilan ang declare niya. Kung minsan nagdududa ang treasurer, sabi ko, uh, we have really, we have really to face reality. But I, I assure you that the name of the game now is really survival first. I agree with you. So I, I assure you that uh, under my hand, I will always be uh, sensitive on this part, on the concern of the businesses. And, and, ano pa yun, Chito? Can, 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 can you plus that, Chito? Yung tatlong question para hindi tayo tumagal. So, As to yung okay. pa- survey naman, halos sa uh, pan lang, technical. Okay. Okay. Yung, yung, the, yung second question, can, can, can you plus that, Chito? Pasen, pasensya ka na. Yung the second question, ano ba yung question na yun? It's the most important question. Uh, okay, okay. Yung, okay, yung, okay. Tapos ito pa. Ito po pala, sige, para di na tayo tumagal. Yung ating uh, digital mm-hmm. innovations. I would say even, I think, the, the president of the Albay Chamber and the members will agree with me na ito talaga ang kailangan natin. Hindi lang sa sinasabi natin improve, but it's about contactless, cashless, and foremost of all, yung tinatawag natin na red tape, uh, which leads to corruption. No? Yung less lang ang contact. Di ba? We have improved our building permits uh, segments. Of course, we can now pay online yung anti-grivial property taxes and of course, uh, business taxes. Yung real property tax, I would say, nung una hindi ako naniniwala. Pero one time, the former director ng, ng DNR dito, si uh, makalimutan, Director 1, Director 1 ng DNR, nasa dait na siya, retire na siya. May lupa sa dito kasi matagal siya. Tinawagan niya ako, Mayor, hindi ako makapasok. I, I called Richard Yuson, our ICT head. After 10 minutes lang, tumabag ulit, Mayor, okay na. O, biro mo yan, nakabahid ako without going to Legaspi to travel under pandemic. No? So, there is still a lot of room for this improve, for improvement, no? especially yung ating connectivity. Now, we are improving our office. Talagang yung savings to, to hindi ako naggalaw talaga. Makita nyo may ginagawa tayo na business na, na isang building. Napakaganda po yan. Pattern na rin yan sa Makati. Sa, hindi, hindi naman Makati. Yung mga big time like in Valenzuela, Bulacan. That uh, it's like a bank one na, na with less contact with the people. Especially during uh, uh, yung ating renewal every January. I assure you na 
talagang pinag-aralan namin kung paano maging pre- friendly sa mga uh, mag- mga negosyante natin. So it's also sa second floor also linagay natin ng isang uh, tawag ito auditorium. Uh, like in Cebu, nakita ko to. Pag may pupunta dito ng mga bisita natin, mga investor, doon natin ipapakita na yung ating mga ginagawa. Ano ang mga advantages sa atin? Why they have to, to come to Legazpi or invest in Legazpi? Now, yung sabi pa natin financial, mga support natin sa uh, ating mga businesses, um, I, I would say it, it should really be like a combination of the national. Ito kasi mga tupad na to, short term lang ito eh. Pero may mga lending tayo, of course, with the less interest. Nagkat provides yung ating mga non-government organization. Like si na Father Jubik, alam ko marami yan. I attended one of their meeting. Um, nakalimutan ko yung association nila. Pero I would I would really say that's really very, very successful. Nakita ko doon that it can be done. Noong una kasi hindi ako naniniwala talaga masyado dyan sa mga ko. Pero pag talaga pala properly accountable ang mga tao nagpapatakbo, magiging accountable din yung ating mga members. Kaya ito, isa ito, sa nakita ko, magiging success ng Legazpi and other neighboring municipalities. And number Mayor, po, sorry to interrupt po. No? Uh, would it be alright for you to wrap up in two minutes? Okay, sige. So again, again, uh, to everyone, I would like to thank, for, thank, thank you for these uh, results. And I would like to assure you that uh, this will be a measuring tools now this will be used by the local government. Of course, still with the collaboration with our private partners, like the Alba Chamber, yung ating mga, mga uh, non-government organization, financial arms, a group ni na Father Chubik, at saka iba pang mga cooperatives natin. So uh, as a whole, uh, I would like to congratulate everyone, especially Frey, for coming up with this. And this will really be a good start again for all of us, especially when you go back now or we sustain our business because as I've said, this pandemic might be here for the next one or two years more. Thank you very much again, everyone. Pabuhay and keep safe. Thank you. Thank you po so much, Mayor Rosal. Thank, Thank you, you everybody as well. Um, quickly lang po, bago po tayo um, matapos yung session, Um, kung may naisip po kayo mga tanong, mangyari mag-email lang po sa amin at ipapadala namin to sa pamahalan ng Legazpi City. So para po sa ating closing message, uh, tinatawag ko po ang aming uh, Executive Director, si Coco Alcoas. Coco? Thank you very much, Kat. Uh, um, Mayor Rosal, thank you very much uh, for, for, for sharing with us uh, your plans for Legazpi City uh, to promote MSMEs and for this opportunity to assist you in getting some feedback from the MSMEs. Thank you also to Rose, to Chito, to Father Jovic uh, for leading, uh, for participating from day one and for, for leading the breakout rooms uh, today and, and also on day one, and for supporting this digital democracy project uh, in Legazpi City. Thanks, of course, to Frey uh, for analyzing the results uh, of the survey and for presenting them to us today. And of course, to the Conrad Adenauer Stiftung, uh, the Conrad Adenauer Foundation, for supporting this project. Finally, thank you to everybody who um, participated in this event uh, since two weeks ago uh, in that in the opening event, uh, in, in, in between the two events and of course today. Um, and uh, we, there's a lot that we, uh, that we need to uh, think about uh, that have come from these uh, discussions uh, so that we can better support MSMEs in Legazpi City. Uh, we look forward to continuing to working with you on those uh, on those uh, inputs thank you everybody stay safe and have a good wednesday everybody thank you so much mayor maraming salamat thank you thank you thank you very much thank you thank you stay safe everyone thank you thank you very much thank you may time constraint pala tayo sorry <laughs> no problem, Mayor. Thank you very much. Hello, po, Mayor. Hintay na po kayo ng ghost cards. Mayor, Mayor, kayo ang may time for us. Salamat, Mayor, for answering. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Good job. Good job. Thank you, Sir Chito. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you.
Ah, mag-off muna Thank ako. Thank you po. Papalik na ako doon sa Juan, Coast Guard. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you po. Thank you.